let's create some to-dos. We'll start by creating a script called create to-dos. And then I'm going to start with a for loop here, and we're going to create 100 to-dos. So I'm going to use the await keyword here, and then import db, and then call the insert method. And I'm going to pass in the to-do schema, and then we're going to pass an object here, and I'll give it some text, to-do, and then plus the index. So as you can see, we're getting a TypeScript warning here. It says no overload matches this call. So let's look into why that might be. So I'm going to add the ID here, and then the warning goes away. So that isn't ideal. And let's go to our schema and see why. So right now we have an integer, and this integer is primary key. So we're going to want to use serial instead. The serial type will give us the auto increment so that we don't have to worry about assigning the integer ourselves. So the database will just handle that for us. So I'm going to run uh, npx drizzle kit generate pg to create a migration file here. So let's go and take a look at this migration file. And you can see that we're going to do an alter column on the ID field. So let's run the migrate command again. And now you'll see that type serial does not exist. And as it turns out, we cannot use the alter with serial. So we're just going to have to use a workaround where we drop the table and then recreate it. So go ahead and delete that migration file and then go back to the terminal. And this is a good opportunity to try out Drizzle Studio since we want to run some queries right now. Okay, it looks like we have to install PG first, so I'll run npm install PG. Okay, let's try running Drizzle's Kit Studio again. And then it gives us this URL here, and let's go there. And as you can see, we have a to-do table. So let's go to the SQL Runner and try running the drop table command. So drop table to do. And for some reason, the run button doesn't show up. Uh, let's try running a select. And it does show up. So I'm not sure if that's some sort of guardrail they place on us, but looks like we can't run it here. So we're going to go straight to the Neon SQL editor and then just run it in here instead. So I'll run drop table to do, and it looks like that worked. So go back to the file here, and we're going to change the migration, make this a serial. And we'll copy this and go back to the Neon console and run that. So it looks like it ran successfully. And if we go to the table, go to to-do, uh, it's still an integer, but it should auto-increment this time. And our warning is gone since we updated our schema. Let's go and run the script again. So create to-dos. And we have another issue here. And it looks like our environment variable isn't loaded. So we'll need to add um, an import for the .env slash config so that we can get our environment variable. Then let's go back to the terminal and run the script again. And let's go to Drizzle Studio, hit the Run button, and you can see that our to-dos have been generated.
All right, so let's go and create a read to do script here. And we're going to be fetching all of the to do's and then just logging them to the console. We're going to be using the SQL like query builder here. So to do that, we'll call select and then from to do, and then we'll just log out the to do's. All right, let's run the script and see what the output is. And there we go. We have a list of to do's. Let's go and create a update to do script. And I'll import DB first and then call update on the to do schema and we'll have to set the value. So let's mark a to do as done. All right, so we'll grab this one here. And we'll set done to true. And then we can use a clause. Always remember the where clause when you're doing an update. Otherwise, it'll update every single to-do in your database. And then we, w we want the where clause to be an equal. So where the to-do ID is equal to 99. All right, let's go back to the terminal and try running that script. OK, it looked like it ran successfully. So we'll go back to um, the read to do script. And the one that we updated is now set to true. So let's try a delete script here. All right, so we'll call the delete method on our DB, pass in the to do schema. And we want to delete the to-do where the ID is equal to 99. Okay, we're back in the terminal. And let's try the script out. Delete to-do. And let's run read to-dos. And that to-do is now gone. So let's test the drizzle runner and uh, just to demonstrate how this works. So we can actually just use our drizzle DB instance here and run drizzle queries. Uh, and sometimes I forget that you need to pass it into the from and not the select. And so now if I hit the run button, you can see that our to-dos are now showing down here. And you can also see your schema in this tab here.